come down to the river. It's about a couple hundred metres from the house and summer, so not normally water here, but we just had a big rain, so there is little patches here and there of water like this. It's right under the uh, train bridge. So you might see a bit of pond scum there and there's a few things jumping in the water. Don't know what they'd be. Some insects? During the World War, I worried that the Japanese might take over this and use the train, so they put some holes into the wall here. The spiders out that one. Yeah, you see, full of holes. So these are to put uh, dynamite in. They were going to blow up the bridge, so yeah, the Japanese couldn't use it apparently, so it's quite interesting. Um, yeah, we'll pop over the other side and see if it's a bit better cleaner water. So this is the main part of the river. Get over on the road. It's the train bridge. With the water here, here and there and it's back to our house. and then the main one where we used to have all the cars. Oh, look old metal there. Front tire's gone. What's this big rock? Yeah. What's this rock thing? It's a water feature for the garden. Oh, you haven't used it yet? Ah. So this is the old sheep yards. But mum sold all the sheep. So this shed was damaged in the... Yeah, thing. this one was damaged, so that's been demolished. Okay. And we're going to build a new shed, but put it over there. Okay. In that empty spot from the truck to there. Okay. Just to put machinery in. Sheep in through here. 
Need some help. Ah, there we go. Doubling as a storage shed now. Okay. Whew, that's a massive one. How wide is this? 40 foot. 40 foot. Mm. Oh man. So, so we're different from when I was young. Probably just step right up here. Yes! Uh, they've redesigned it a bit. So yeah. Some things to hook the sheep up. That's where they did it. Shearing the sheep with this thing, with the attachment on the end. There's another one. There's a little bit of sheep wool still on the ground. So you see they're all bars, so when the sheep do any number ones or number twos, just goes right underneath. And we can shovel it all out, la out later and sell the sheep poo. Going in. Uh, gonna come in. That's it. So there we go. You'll be all dirty, won't you? That's the entrance from the other side where we used to get them in. Put them in the gates and there we go. You just push the sheep around until they're different sections for the different shearers. Now the slide. Everybody's got a slide by the look of it. When they're finished you can just lead the sheep out here and down the hole I guess. So these are pressing the sheep bales, the, the wool. So just pile it in and push it down. Here's another one. There we go. Can't see that in the dark. That's the electric one. Yeah. Electric and manual. Okay. This is the original sort. Oh, the original. Where they oh. do, um, jump in the top. Uh, push it down. They probably had to do that to squash it down. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Very interesting. Let's see how sharp these things are. Not too sharp, they made a rubber. Yeah. Is it? So ah. Snap off all the time. Ah. This one's got a knife in there that cuts. Ah, yeah, that's. I think it goes backwards and forwards. It's very sharp. You'll die on that. Mmm. Mm. Okay. These are solar panels that used to have in the shed. The shed that got destroyed in the cyclone. Yeah, that's Tim's. Contraption for the back of his ute, and he sleeps in there on his trips. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so the sheep shed over to the next one. Something for the back of the truck. Rehauling the grain. It's on the truck. Ah, the multi spreader. Fertilizer goes in that. Spreads it quite a distance when you're driving along. Mm. Next one. This is a five in one bin, it's called. You put yep. fertilizer one end, it seeds the other end. Yep. Okay. What we do now, we've got something, we'll fill one with all with fertilizer. Okay. All with seed, I think. This one's a deep ripper. Deep this ripper. One goes deeper in the ground. Looks pretty new. New purchase this year? A couple of years ago? Last year. Last year. Season. So this is, yeah, coming up for two years now. Okay. Look at this. Whoa, that's massive. <laughs> Man. That looks like a ripper. Remember this is storage for fertilizer? Yes. Another truck. Nice. Here we are in the truck. 
and I'm sleeping there. Spot at the back, hasn't been used in a little while, I don't think. Get rears up here for a look. There we go. There you go. Who's <laughs> that? Truck driver, buddy. Yeah, he loves this. Has he got a horn? Does this work? Nah, not working. That would have been a big one. Do you have to have it on? Maybe it's broken. Ah, here, buddy. Hey, you like that? Who's this, buddy? Who's this? Hey, <laughs> yeah. It's a big truck. You got a big smile for mum again. Hey, look at mum's camera. There we go. <laughs> Pretty good truck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brum, 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 brum. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> so out here we got more old trucks. It's that big one we were just in. Some other trucks. These are little silos for storing the grain. This one is to get the grain up into the top of the silo, this machine. House is over there with the old caravan, and this is the next very big shed. Firefighting unit. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Gear grinder. The truck might even be bigger. Two big red ones. Yeah. But Mm. It up. So it's a wide, yep. strips of grain off the harvest time. Looks pretty nice inside that cab. Yeah. Huh? Is that pearl? Yeah. I'm going to go in here. Yes. Ah. And this one's the 5-in-1 bin, the new 5-in-1 bin. 5-in-1 bin. So it has seed one end, fertilizer the other end. Yeah. And then the tank at the back has flexi end. Okay. Yeah. That wheel is about my height. You can see the flies buzzing around my head. Mm. Hello. Flushing like tanks. Tractor, like it's set up now. Yeah. And you put seed in one bit, fertilizer in another bit, and flexi uh, in, in another bit. Another so it's all three in one, one machine. Hmm. Not meant to have children in Okay, we're in the tractor with Buddy. Hey Buddy! Ah. Seeing everyone on the ground there? There they are. Hey! Get on camera. Hey! Who's this? Ah! Good boy. You drive. Drive? Brum brum brum. Yeah. Brum 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 brum. Yeah, so this is a big one. Quite comfy. It's got a... um extra little seat there so yeah um, here's the panels a lot of different buttons here two-way yeah there we go take a picture this way hey yes
any of these guys got? I don't know. <laughs> ah, here we go. So, so this little toilet and shower has been built. It's interesting. Check the snakes. Looks okay. Washing area and hmm, first aid. Put this on Airbnb. Have a look at this. And that's, that's one. Ah, couch, your own stove and your bed, and half a uh, cupboard. Hmm, pretty good. go back of the house so that's it no they were, they had that many tractors trucks and stuff so yeah uh, it's a little tour for some C and rears it'll show us some double G's when we get back because um, around here it's, it's a type of prickle that's just sticks right in your foot so probably got a heap under the shoes we'll be off to see Tim tonight so just getting ready to go so one of the problems with Australia is next stuck behind the road train what speed are you doing? 40? 40 probably more like 38 38 in a 110 zone so Say hi, Tim. What'd you say? Say hi. <laughs> oh, man. So, this is uh, Tim's house. Oh, here we are. Captain's cooking dinner. What do you got for us? Something nice and spicy for you all. Or a curry? Yep. Mmm. Halal meat? Ah, oh, Bonanza. <laughs> ah. It's a big thing in the middle of the, the floor and he, he loves it, he can't get out. Well done. Eh? You might sink lower and lower. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, buddy? Oh. oh! Almost out. Hey! Good boy! Massive dog. And yeah, he's probably about 50 meters from the beach or something. Probably less. Yeah. Ready? Go! Woo! <laughs> 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 
just back over from Tim's. So we saw a rabbit just as we're coming over, running across, and then we saw a bird. So if you're ever wondering where birds sleep at night, look at this guy. Hello. Look at this guy. Hi, mate. Oh. oh, he's off. And there's the moon, unfortunately, behind the tree, but that's a pretty big moon tonight.